Ooh, that is a baby, baby tip. Oh, Sprog. Sorry if this is really grossing you out. I can't see. Hey girl, welcome to Emory Lane. <laughs> where my goal is to find you the best beauty products for the best prices. In today's video, we're gonna be doing another battle to find the best brow pencil. The one that lasts long is the one that looks the best. All the things, most of these claim to be waterproof. I think one of them doesn't claim to be, but I've heard people say it is. But these are like all of the most like highly rated like micro fine brow pencils. Those are the ones that were rated the best in the end. Over the next few days, for me, I'm going to be comparing all of them to see which one is the best of the best. I'm going to start out with these two. I'm going to be doing, what? just kidding. I grabbed the eyeliner instead of the pencil. I love that so much. Okay, we're trying these two. So I will be doing the NYX Micro Brow Pencil on my right and the Maybelline Express Brow on my left. Now I will say that the left has slightly a disadvantage because I have a scar right here. It's a gaping hole. So that's, it makes it a little bit more difficult. Let me have it please. Ooh, that is a baby, baby tip. Normally I use a brow gel of some kind, some clear pomade, something like that. I'm not going to with these because I don't want them to have any help being like set into place. The NYX one, did not say on Amazon, but it says on the packaging that it is waterproof and smudge resistant. The Maybelline one does not say it's waterproof, but some people say it is. Let's start off with the Maybelline. According to Amazon, it says, achieve ultra precise hair-like strokes for the most defined and natural looking brow. Pencil features a smooth and break resistant formula. Oh, ultra slim 1.5 millimeter tip. Holy freaking cow. Built-in spoolie brush, create precise defined brows, available in six shades. That's a pretty good range, not the best. Okay, well, look at that. That did an amazing job filling in that huge gap that I have. Hopefully it's showing up on camera like it is in person because that's impressive. Ooh. I do have a little bit of sparseness on this side just because when I was younger, I would pluck this side up higher to try to match this side a little bit better. It's like the same size as the Maybelline one. According to Amazon, sculpt beautiful brows. Shape define and fill in sparse or over tweeze areas with our ultra skinny micro brow pencil. So precise, it coats even the finest hairs with color for a natural look. They're just repeating themselves a lot. It comes in three, six, nine, 12 shades. See, that's a little bit of a better rate. It goes for around $8 on Amazon. On. Wait, chocolate's so much more red than I thought it would be. Flip. Mm. I have TikTok videos to film. It did a good job filling in that little gap. So far, I, I like them both a lot. I feel like a ghost. So I'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna go about my day. I'll do a check-in halfway throughout the day in natural lighting. Just a really fast one because I don't want this video to be forever long. Okay, it's been like seven hours. I lost track of time, sorry. But everything's holding up pretty well, I would say. The only thing that I noticed is right where my scars is starting to fade slightly. Just a little bit. Not not noticeable enough that I'd be like, eh, that's not good. Besides that, that's fine. It's actually great. I haven't done anything crazy today, though. I want to do a waterproof test. And I also want to do a sweatproof test for the final round to see which one's like the best of the best. We'll see what happens. But like so far, everything's going pretty good. It is almost 2 a.m. And this is what the brows look like. The scar is pretty faded. But besides that, it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna do a waterproof test. I can't see. That was a good, like, three really strong squirts. I mean, they both held on well. We're gonna rub gently. Oh, that's, both of them are staying on really well. Um, well, the Maybelline one's starting to fade. The next one holds on a little bit better, but I like the feel of the Maybelline one a little bit better. Mmm, I don't know. I need to, like, evaluate the other two before I say anything else, I think. So on to the next round. Next up are the Revlon Color Stay 24 hour waterproof pencil and the L'Oreal Brow Style Definer waterproof pencil. We'll do the Revlon on the right and the L'Oreal on the left. See how good of a shade match is because I'm going to church. Oh, they, this is the thickest out of all of them for sure. So thin, but like compared to the other ones. And then according to Amazon, it says the Revlon Color Stay brow pencil includes an angled tip to perfectly fill in eyebrows and a brush to tame them. <laughs> a perfectly sculpted look. I just woke up like five minutes ago, so forgive me. I'm like, I can't talk yet. The unique angle tip lasts for fast and easy brow definition and color application. Oh, Sprog! You know what? I've tried this before. Flip. Do not get on my white dress. Do not get on my white dress. And I remember it breaking. I couldn't remember for sure if I had tried it or not. It comes in five shades, lasts up to 24 hours, and it goes for, I had to freaking pay $12 for it, or no, $11 for it, but it is normally seven. I mean, it looks nice. Just freaking broke. This was my first ever eyebrow 
Rapunzel and I use it for forever before trying another one. The tip is so tiny. Moving on to L'Oreal. It says, the brow stylist definer makes the art of eyebrows easy. Love that. Shape brows with the ultra fine tip eyebrow pencil. A perfect tool to draw tiny brow hairs and shape brows for a waterproof, well-defined look. It comes in 10 shades and it is $8. I did a good job filling in the hole. Almost as good as the Maybelline. Not quite. I like think the Maybelline did a little bit better of a job, which surprises me, but it's been so long since I've used this. It was really easy to apply. They're almost the same shade. <laughs> it's close enough for sure. It is such a fine tip. You probably the finest out of all of them, I think. It takes a second longer. This took less time because the tip is like the biggest out of all of them, but this one you could be so detailed in, but I have to go to church now. <laughs> I'll see you in a sec. What? Yeah, no, I'm good. It has been 16 hours since I put on these brows. <laughs> look at this. L look. It's just barely starting to fade out this tail in on my little scar. It's held up so well on my little scar. I'm so impressed. Besides, the only reason I feel like it kind of looks like it's fading is because my brow hairs are just facing down at this point on the side. They like to do that. I didn't do a check-in because like at the six hour mark, I was like, they look the exact same. And I kept checking every few hours. I'm like, they look the exact same. And it was like within the last hour-ish. I'm like, this side's starting to fade just a little, little bit. What? What? We're gonna do a waterproof test. Okay, how's it looking? Nothing's really moved. I'm scared to touch the L'Oreal one. It seems very sensitive. Uh, it's kind of coming off. It's not really coming off onto my finger, but you can see it's kind of like the little spots coming through. Yeah, it, it's, it's starting to come off. What about this side? This side is a lot better. Nothing on my fingers. It's not really coming off. Dang it. Now what do I do? I need to look over the footage and decide. We are still doing a sweat proof test for the last two though, because we need to know. Okay, about to exercise. I get really sweaty when I exercise. It's not fun, but it helps for these kind of things. For sure, the NYX, I think, is in the top two. Maybelline is good, like, but just not quite up there compared to how the other ones lasted. Not bad at all, for sure. Definitely will use it, but what I'm debating between is the L'Oreal and the Revlon because I think the Revlon held up better. Like, it breaks so easily, and I think it's because of the, like, angled tip. So I'm gonna try, like, barely having the little nub out to see if that helps. I don't know how much control I have over it, though. If it breaks, I'm gonna wipe it off, and we're gonna move on to the L'Oreal. That's what's gonna determine this. Okay, then break. I did it up just a tiny, tiny bit more so I could kind of try to use a longer side of the slant. You don't have as much control as you do with the rest of them though. And it's not a huge difference, but it's there. I filled in the scar very nicely. And look, these are both warm tones. It doesn't look quite as weird. If I like this one the best, I'm going to get it in a different shade. I don't know what shade. Okay, they're both great. This one's definitely easier to use, 100%. I feel like you don't have to use as much product with it as well. It might be because it's not quite my shade, but okay, I'm gonna go work out and get nice and sweaty and I will report back. <sighs> I exercised for over an hour, if you can't tell by my, my inability to talk, and my tomato face. I could feel the sweat all over my forehead, everywhere, but like especially just running down my forehead. I'm sorry if this is really grossing you out, but I just wanted to show how well things went. Either side looks good, but the next side looks better. Like it does. Like there's some patchiness here up front that wasn't here before on the rumble side. Next side looks exactly the same. Why do I lose my ability to talk after I exercise? I'm not out of breath necessarily. It's just my brain like disconnects. But I would say for sure, without a doubt, Nyx is the winner. It's super Super easy to apply. You can make it a little bit thicker or like super detailed. It lasts the longest. It fills in every little gap really well. And is this the one that comes in 12 shades? Tell me if I'm right. Okay. If you want to see a video with my top five favorite mascaras, drugstore mascaras of all time, you can click right here. I'll link everything I talked about in the description box below. Those links are affiliate links, so I do get a small percent of the profits. If you use my link to buy the product, but it does not affect you in any way. I love you so much. Not forget that you are enough. Bye.